Hi guys and welcome back again to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be sharing with you a full month party of a boy who just turned a month old. But before we do that, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do that. Follow us on Instagram at neapartydeco and let's get started. First of all, I have to put this backdrop together. It's of a metal stand in gold. If you want to know where I purchased it, I'm going to let the link up here for you guys to go and take a look. Once I finish putting the backdrop together, I then hang the name. This is going to help me to be able to know where I want my balloons to stand and if this name has at all the space. So I began by putting the name on the backdrop first. And to do that, I am using a zipper or zip lines. This is quite stable and instead of using a fishing line, which could be quite easy to cut off, I am using a zip. For the balloons, I am using this custom balloon of eucalyptus and pastel green and this is a combination of eucalyptus and white. We also have double staff eucalyptus by itself and we also have sand and inside I've put coffee. And also we have forest green green which is double soft. With it I'm going to be using Reflex Green Chrome. What I am doing here is I'm putting the clusters of the balloons which I have brought already together. I'm going to put it together and to do like this you can either use a 2-6 inch balloon or like I'm using the head of each balloon to attach to another cluster. These balloons are in different sizes there is not a particular way I had I did blow them up. To attach the base of the balloon garland, I did use a 2-6 inch balloon. I'm using the backdrop behind where the bolt is hanging outside is where I attach the 2-6 inch balloon and there I attached my balloon garland. Once I had attached the base, now I'm going to start filling in the balloons, looking for the special design of the way I want the balloons to flow. So once I attached the base, I start looking for the type of the design which I wanted to have. It started getting difficult when I started attaching the balloons. This is because the backdrop is not very stable and the balloons kept falling forward because the weight kept kept coming forward. So to stop the balloons from falling in front, I have a weight with me which I'm always hiding behind the balloons to kind of hold the backdrop a little bit on the back. The customer wanted that the balloons go across the backdrop and that is exactly what I'm going to be doing today. She asked also for the as many shades of green as possible. That is why I have combined them. But for just a small touch up, I used the double staff sand with coffee just to give just to highlight the green texture. It always gets easier if a customer says to you or if a customer says to me i can do what i have to do to make the backdrop come out nice and clear so if it as a customer's wish to do the balloons it kind of gets a little bit difficult because you work so much on wanting to have the perfect picture the perfect the way the customer wanted so in this case was the same she described specifically what she wanted and i said obviously that i could perform it so it was my job to keep stepping behind and taking a look if i'm doing the right thing even though this backdrop kept falling on me i still wanted to have the kind of picture which she wanted and so what i would urge you is always take a step behind take a look take a step behind and take a look and keep correcting because 
working with balloons it is like drawing you have to keep rubbing and making sure that everything is like it's supposed to be Once I set up the base and I was happy how it looked like, I started putting on the fillers, also known as the 5 inch balloon clusters, all shape correctors, and it started to take shape. I wanted to have just in the beginning a little bit less i am using the gold chrome reflex on green and i love the way the touch looked like to this garland i am going to be adding some greeneries that is also something that she had wished to have this is a full month party a full month party means it is an asian culture tradition where they celebrate the baby when he gets one month old and that way people can come and visit and give their presents. this is like a baby shower after the bath of the child because they believe seeing a baby before it gets one month old is like a bad omen or something so this is a re another reason to celebrate which means it's another diverse of how we do our things i was very delighted and happy to do this setup the child who's turning one month old is a boy and the mom wanted more of like a baby shower with a little bit of safari or wild one so she requested for these different types of greens or the color greens and some plants in between to this set i'm going to be giving her some animals and the baby blocks This setup would take me around about one and a half hours because I had a lot of going back and forth with setting up. Just when I was about to do the finished touch up, the customer came in and she requested from even more balloons to come on the right side on the ground and some to go on the left side on the upper top left do you guys think i should have charged her a little bit more because i spent one more hour doing what she wanted me to do or do you think guys that i shouldn't in this case i didn't charge her anymore i still wanted to see the outcome and sometimes i think it's just nice to listen to your customers and you do learn a thing or two even though you are the professional one who is doing the work but they also have an eye and it's nice to fulfill their wishes. Jump 
Gucci fly, yeah, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Open up to spread your wings and jump to rise, not fall. You flying high, yeah. You jump to fly, yeah, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. But if it was going to take for more than one hour or if it's a customer who is unsatisfied and making you remove and rebuild your work every two minutes or every five minutes, I think it's worth to say, no, you paid me to do this. I did what I came here to do and then you leave the job. But for this customer, she was very nice and friendly and she brought really the garland to look really pretty and I was satisfied and she was satisfied and it looked really nice. And that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did give it a thumbs up please please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so follow us on instagram at neapartideko my friends until next time auf wiedersehen Yourself unfold, breathe in some love.